Hi guys, let's start a new uh, example. We have uh, the same uh, span, 36 meter, but with different uh, truss, with different bridge shape. So, I'm sorry. So we have truss with the total height is seven meter. Total height here is seven meter. The first part at level or at height four meter and the second inclined part with a total uh, difference three meter. So let's start to draw this truss using our software. Just open the software West Point Bridge Design for older computer. Create a new bridge. Just read, next, no, next, your elevation of your deck, 16 meters to get the span of 36 meter, and then just click next, where is next, is here, and then what type of concrete, medium strength, not high strength, uh, what type of loading, standard, next, none, I will create my own truss, Next, you can put your name, next, and then finish. I will start with the first node, this one, second node. The first node at height four meter, the second node will be the same. Third node, this one, and this one, and this one. The total height here is three meter. That means each node has one meter high, higher than the previous one. So let's start. Grab your joint tool at this location at height four meter. I can create the first node, second node at the same height, third node at high, one meter higher, five, the next six, the next will be seven then this one will be seven six five four four grab members tool draw your member you can draw vertical member first Just click at the first node, keep pushing click, hold right left click and then until the second point. Just release your click, that's it. Keep going for the bottom chord. Top chord, we have inclined member here. Remember, we cannot leave one panel as square or rectangle or trapezoidal. You have to put at least one diagonal. So based on our truss, actually we have two diagonal. One diagonal is enough. Two diagonal make your truss indeterminate and can be if more uh, there is more effective of temperature and settlement anyway so at least we have to put one diagonal at least we cannot leave one panel without diagonal so for this truss actually i will put two diagonals more members more diagonals make your truss more stronger but more in uh, the degree of indeterminacy will be increased and will be affected more with temperature effect. Anyway, we don't care about temperature or settlement right now. Our concern is our truck. That's it. Here you go. I am done. Here is my um,
bridge. You can check your bridge against the truck. Okay. Your truck is moving, moving, moving. Once your truck moves from one side to the other side, your bridge is stable. But wait, remember, I believe we have few members which are critical. These members with color, with red color, means we have high level of stress, high level of load in this truss. But it's okay, they are safe. If you would like to make them more safe or safer, you can go back to your truss. You can select this member and make them bigger. You can increase here, just select your member and just click this one. It will be bigger, bigger, bigger. This one, bigger, 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 bigger. This one also, one by one. They are previously saved, but you can make them more safe. And this one also. We can also vertical member. And this one also. Let's try one more time. Yeah. The color decreased or the darkness of the red decreased. That means more safe. But this member, this diagonal and this diagonal are critical a little bit, but they are safe. Okay. So... If your truck moves from one side to the other side, probably that probably that means your bridge is safe. 